Have you ever made an animal plan? Do you know what you want to buy and sell in 2023? Do you know when you, when you want to enter to the market? When you want to stay out of the market? When you want to stay cash, in fact? To answer these questions, you need to have annual plan. Expert traders, usually you're making their annual plan at the beginning of the year. If you didn't make it yet, it's not late. Make it now. In this video, we are going to see what we can buy or sell or what we have to do, how we have to behave in 2023 and how we have to trade this year. So at the beginning, the first priority, the first step in the annual plan is to learn about the central bank's meetings because the central bank's policies usually affect everything. Federal Reserve meetings and the meetings time and unit, first of all, at the beginning of the year, make plan and find out in which date Federal Reserve will have a policy meeting. Policy meeting and interest rate decisions of US Federal Reserve or US Central Bank usually affect everything, affect all the markets, no matter if you are trading in the stock markets, crypto, cryptocurrencies, currencies, bonds, whatever you trade, Federal Reserve decision affect everything in the stock market, in the financial markets first, and also affect the other central bank's decisions. For example, ECB, European Central Bank, Bank of England, Bank of Japan, People Bank of China, all of these banks, usually they watch to Federal Reserve and they're kind of uh, trying to set their policies to not to be against of the Federal Reserve policies. So, follow the Federal Reserve meeting, ECB meetings, BOE meetings and Bank of Japan's meetings. These central bank's meetings are very, very, very important. And first of all, at the beginning of the very every year, make sure that you know exactly when these banks are going to have a meeting. So based on the, uh, based on these plans, for example, if you know, for example, Federal Reserve will have a meeting uh, at the end of the February, the first, uh, like at end of the January, like January 20, 31st, for example, uh, February 1st. So, you, need, you know, these two days are very important, days before them and days after them, how you have to uh, play in the market, how, wh what you have to buy or what you have to sell. So, this is the first step. The second step is to learn about the earnings calendar, uh, especially if you are trading in the stock markets. Economic calendar is very important. Economic calendar is also important, but the earnings calendar is an annual plan Gets more, uh, in, I mean, gets more, uh, the more priority than economic calendar, especially if you are trading in the stock markets, trading indices, uh, or trading in. I mean, the the most important stocks. You are watching to earnings calendar. If you go to the earnings calendar, you can understand. For example, these stocks or these shares, they will have an earnings call in these days, in this time. So. Days before them or days after them, you need to, for example, if you want to buy the uh, Tesla share, you better go and watch when Tesla is going to publish the earnings results. Then you are going to see them before them. So very, you, 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 then you, you can better understand. You better to buy the stocks before earnings or after earnings. All these depend on earnings calendar and in and anything you want to do in the stock market. The first thing you have to do is to go to the uh, earnings calendar and watch them. When you know these two steps, there are things that in the calendar and you can find out uh, just like, you know, writing text, posts, websites and stuff like that. But the third step is uh, kind of economics, it, it's not, uh, it's proficient. It's something that you need to learn, it's not something that uh, you can find it in, in, in a post on a calendar, on a web blog, stuff like that, or websites that you go and follow them. Okay, what's, the, uh, what's this or what's that? You have to learn, you have to trade, you have to have an expert. So, uh, experience in the stock market, or it doesn't matter, in the financial market. When you know in which cycle we are, then based on that cycle, you can understand, okay, for example, you know, we have the, um, for example, right now we are in a recovery. We had the we had the recession just at 2020 to 2021. We had the recession. After the recession, the world started to recover, and now at 2023, we are in the last step of recovery. When we are going to go to the normalized economy. I mean, the economy in the last steps of its um, uh, recession. We ended the recession, now we are trying to recover, we recovered somehow, 
in the last steps, we are in 2023, it's the last steps of recovery. So that's why I, I made it in 2023 in two half, first half and the second half. Because in the first half, we have something different. In the second half, you're waiting for something different. So if you know this, then it can help you better uh, to, to, have a, to make, a better, make a better decisions. In the last stage of recovery, it means that uh, we usually, when we have a recession and we're coming to the recovery, uh, we usually, the economy is like that. We have a very good recovery, fast growing, and this fast growing brings some results like inflation, a lot, lot, lot different results. To cope over these problems that come in du during the recovery, we again we will fall into, into another recession, which is not the recession in fact, which is in fact in a more detail we can call it the recovery pad. But we have a very uh, we have another we have a second recession before ending the recession and coming out from the recovery, which can be soft landing. It is usually the soft landing recession before ending the, all the recession effect and come over all these effects and go to normalized economy, we face usually this. And this is the economic cycle. So we, if we know that and we know in 2023, we are in the last steps of recovery, we can understand that no matter what happened in the market, no matter what happened in the market, history says us that uh, we will face with at least a soft, recovery, a soft uh, landing. This is the uh, standard growth path. This is the standard economic growth path. It's not, this is something that uh, created in the years, in hundreds of the years, and we cannot change it because this is how, it's like a growing of the people, growing of the human. Humans growing like this. I mean, uh, till five years, they have some behaviors. From five to 10, it's a different. 10 till, until 20, it's different. For example, that, that's because this, uh, this has example. Economy is also like that. When we face the recovery, when we face the recession and we're coming out from the recession, this is the step that we will fall. In, a, in this time, 2023, that's why if you look at the central bank's meetings, the central bank's policies and decisions and the plans, you can see that in 2023, especially in the first half, usually they will try to continue their hawkish plans in the first half. And in the second half, they are trying to pause the hawkish plans and slowly, slowly go to to go to, to uh, less hawkish plans, or somehow, sometimes they may even have a dovish plans. For sure, there are different. They, they, we have a different economies. We have a different policies. Some countries do that. Some countries to calm all these problems. To uh, but at the same time, in the first half, we have Bank of Japan and People Bank of China that they have a different plan, they are still on dovish plans. So, uh, Bank of Japan still uh, supporting the economy, so they believe that the, in the first half of 2023, they believe that economies still need the support. So, what the Federal Reserve, Bank of England and ECB did last year, they are still doing, and they continue their plan, same as People Bank of China. If we know that, if we know that, so for example, we can understand why uh, USD JPY is still uptrend at the beginning of the why why we should why we are still waiting for an uptrend for the USD JPY at the first half of 2023 and why we expect a downtrend in a USD JPY chart in the second half why uh, for example why we, why we believe for example that the in Chinese stock markets why we think that for example the Chinese stock market should grow better in, a, uh, in the first quarter and in the second quarter of 2023, why we expect the some recession in the Chinese stock market in the third quarter and why we believe in the fourth quarter they can grow better. If we go, what, 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 I, I'm not the God, the other is also the same, other analysts are also the same. We are not the God, we cannot rip the mind of the people, but we can rip the market. If we know the policies, if we know the central bank's policies, we can understand this is what they are happening, what usually should, should happen. So we are not getting, we, are, we will not get a surprise of what's happening in the market. 
So, understanding of the plan, of central bank's plans, will help us to understand the overall market conditions. So, make sure at the beginning of the year, you go through all the central banks, read your economy, the, 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 those countries' economic situation, and central bank's policies, because the central bank's policies usually made the, uh, move the markets, move the stock markets, currencies, and stuff like that. You know, when we're talking about the hawkish and the dovish, what means hawkish? When, how hawkish uh, decisions affect the market? If, for example, in United, I, I'm giving the United States as, ex, as an example, then uh, you can, uh, because most tr uh, traders looking after Federal Reserve meetings and Federal Reserve decisions, so I'm giving the Federal Reserve uh, and United States as an example, so you can go to another uh, central bank's also the other central bank's decision and follow almost the same rules. When you have a hawkish plan, it means the house price usually should increase, sales should be up. Uh, then you, it means that safe havens like gold, like US dollar, they will have more um, demand. Why? Because uh, same as uh, more demand and also bonds. Why do you have a more demand? Because the most they're paying off, uh, they pay off more. They, they give you more yield, higher yield, higher, uh, rate, higher rates. Central banks, when they have central banks, have to give you the more rates. It means that the bonds also will give you more yields. So higher yields will uh, it will put the bonds in demand. And as, uh, say, I'm talking about the safe havens. Why? Because the hawkish policies usually uh, in, in, during the hawkish policies and how, when the central banks having the hawkish policies, usually they have a pressure on the stock markets. So the people they are taking their stock market, they, their money out from the stock market, so they are looking for any replacement. So, safe havens, gold, dollar, uh, they, they don't know, we have a different safe haven, depends on which country you are, but the most, uh, the traditional safe havens, gold and US dollar. So US dollar and safe haven, uh, gold, they get higher demand, more demand, uh, when you have a dovish, when you have a hawkish plant. But with what happens when you have a dovish plan? Dovish policies means that the governments, the, the central banks and the governments, they usually support to, they usually help to uh, trying to support and help the economy. So it means that the energy demand should increase. So that's why at the first half of 2023, uh, we are waiting the gas and oil price. We are waiting for lower prices for gas and oil. But in the second half, gas and oil prices should increase. Why? Because uh, with the hawkish plan, with the dovish plans, economy will get heated. Then we will get more activities. Uh, we will have more activities in uh, in economy. We will have more activities in uh, factories. Uh, then stuff like that. So that's why we need more energy. So when we need more energy um, for the factories, factories they use the raw materials. So for raw materials, we, are, we have we have, we, have to, we should expect the raw, higher prices for raw materials and more demand for raw materials. While during the hawkish during when we have a hawkish policy, it's against, exactly opposite side. Industrial materials like or industrial metals, for example, like a silver. When we have a dovish plan, when we have a dovish policies, the silver, uh, copper, um, aluminium, and other. Uh, industrial metals will get more demand. This is usual, this is overall general market and how we expect in the uh, stock markets and general, overall, not just in the stock markets, in the financial market in 2023. But don't forget, when we are talking about the 2023, uh, we need to know about the AI and blockchain. 2023 is the year of the new uh, science, of the new technology, uh, artificial intelligence, or we call it AI at the short word. Uh, we get the more uh, focus. So, if you want to trade in 2023, don't forget to follow the AI stocks, the stocks there, uh, the, 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 the companies, the, the stocks that the companies or the stock or the shares. That usually they are active in artificial intelligence and blockchains. Car cryptocurrencies and blockchains also in 2023 will get uh, more, more focus. Why? Because in several years, in the last years, blockchain uh, get more. We, we get more involved in got more involved in the blockchain industry, and the blockchain making the more rules, playing the more rules uh, in our businesses and our what. So. 2023, these two subjects will get uh, more attention. 
So if you want to trade in 2023 based on these overall business plan, based on these overall uh, financial market conditions, don't forget to follow the AI and blockchain. AI and blockchain may can be the key invest of 2023. This is how we have to trade in 2023. If you want to trade, so follow these rules. Make sure you learned them. Make sure you understood them. If you have any question, write under the video. If you're watching this video on YouTube, write in the YouTube uh, under the YouTube video or Instagram or whatever you watch this video. Make sure we'll get back to you and we'll answer all your questions. All the best.